All right, this is a 2004 Chevy Cavalier, and uh, I told the dude I would make a video showing how my subs are hooked up. All right, first off, you obviously need a power cord. That goes from the battery to the amp. That's how it's all powered. Uh, the power cord should be a thick, mine's four gauge, uh, red wire usually. Okay, come in blue, I have blue also, but red is, you can see it easier. All right, first you gotta hook it to the battery. I don't know if I'm taking that off, but if I clip, goes in there, it goes right on. And then from here, it goes down through. I haven't pulled apart, I don't have it all tightened up so you can see it. And within the first, I believe it's 18 inches or so, you should have a fuse on it. That's where my fuse is, that's not hooked up either. Um, I just wanted to show, so mine was all tucked away if I pulled it out to show you guys. And mine goes through the, the firewall, so I can get it. Probably not. Nope, you can't see it. But it goes through the firewall, all right, into the car by the driver's side feet. And I'll show you. Right, let's see. Right there. Comes through. I had tucked it on the carpet, but I pulled it all apart to show you. Comes down. Right here. Mine's under the carpet, coming around. Fall on the underside. Uh, there should be a plastic piece over. Uh, I cut it just to show, because I'm actually painting mine. I am mean, not, I didn't cut it, I uh, took it off. Because I'm painting my interior, I'm changing the color. That's what it's going to look like. I'm doing a black and blue theme. Everything's all taken apart. Uh, so the power wire comes down through, under the molding. That comes right off, but when you do it, pop it out. See those grooves? That's where the, uh, the latches the, go into, it clips in there and just slide the power cord under it, like that. It'll go under. Uh, a little adjusting, but you get it. It goes back through to the back door here. It goes around, I put it behind the seat. I got a lot of cord, I'm doing something with it. And it, I got a capacitor and it hooks up. My hooks to the capacitor, capacitor are there, but I'm not exactly sure how to hook it up, but mine's like that for now. All right, and then you have your uh, Ground obviously goes from the amp to a nice ground. Make sure if you are going to ground it, you scratch off any paint. You should ground it to uh, like the chassis, but it's kind of hard to get to. But mine goes, I believe, let's see. Mine goes back here. I think I drilled a hole. I oh, hooked it up to something I can't really see. Mine's back there. That's the ground. Make sure it's a good ground. You need a good ground or uh, your amp won't turn on. Uh, next is the RCAs. The RCAs are the two cords. Uh, I believe it's red and white. It goes from the back of your radio. You should have a hookup aftermarket radio. It goes from the back of your radio to the, the amp. That's what sends uh, like the signal pretty much from the radio over. All right, so mine, I pulled it apart. It's behind the radio. Uh, what you should do is tuck it under the, oh yeah, the RCA and the power cord should be on opposite sides. You need it on opposite sides because I heard that the power cord with RCAs it creates like a frequency or something or another. It's not the best of quality. So put them on different sides if you can. Uh, if not, I mean, you should, but if not, I guess go with it. It might not sound as great, but yeah, whatever. So the RCAs go to the back radio. Come around. I had mine tucked under here, but I took it off. Took my glove box off too, the cover. But it comes down around the side. Right here, it goes behind the carpet and tuck it all through here. Right up through. Under this side, this molding. Same thing on the other side. And that goes down through to the back. Goes down to the back, around, tuck it behind the seat, and that goes right into your amp. That's those two. That's the RCAs. Uh, lastly, you have your remote wire. That's what turns the amp on. Uh, so when your radio turns on, your amp turns on. You should have a, uh, a remote wire on the aftermarket radio, but if you don't have an aftermarket radio, I'll explain to you right after this what to do. Um, so my RCA, is, my RCA runs the right side of the car along with the remote. The remote wire usually is attached to the uh, RCA so you get a kit, but uh, I don't think I had that, I'm not sure. But anyways, that goes to the back of your radio. It should be a blue wire with a white line inside of it 
So it's blue and white. It attaches to this cord and that goes on the side with the RCAs. Falls it all the way down, same thing. Comes down to the back here. And that hooks up to your remote section. Let's see, let me flip it over. On the amp, it should say remote. Let's see. Right there. See, it says 12V, that's the power. The remote is the what goes to the radio to turn the amp on when the radio turns on. And lastly, the GND, it's ground. Uh, that's where you ground to your car. All right, that's it for the hookup. Capacitor gets a little tricky, you gotta like charge it or whatnot. I'm not gonna explain that. But uh, what I said before is if you don't have an aftermarket radio, they sell these uh, adapters. You gotta, it goes behind the radio or you can put it in the back. I had mine in a Pontiac a long time ago. Uh, and I split the wires behind there. I unplugged it, split it, and hooked the uh, like the cords. There's four, five cords that come with it. Uh, two for each speaker. You, you'll get it. You'll understand. One is ground. You hook the accordingly cords to each other, and that will give you the RCA outputs. That is what you run to the side here, over there. As for the remote wire, you need it. You don't want it on a a cigarette lighter because they'll constantly keep the amp on and sooner or later they'll drain your battery. So what a good idea to do is, uh, actually wait a minute, what did I do? Was I hooked it to a fuse. I think it was for power accessories. So once you turn your car key to power accessories, that's when like the radio turns on also. That's what it hooks up to. So it's one of the fuses. Uh, I don't have it looked up yet, but I believe it's either a 15 or a 20. It might be a 20, but I'm not sure. So that's power accessories. That's for the remote wire. Have that run in there. Those wires are definitely have hooked up something else for now. And run it on the right side. Don't put it with the uh, power. So run it across the back of the dash if you can. And tuck it with the RCAs. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I can't really explain more. Uh, I have more videos to come. Uh, I'll have pictures on my interior. But uh, yeah, I'm Bruce. Thank you for watching. And this is how to hook up uh, subs, amp, and whatnot to a 2004 Chevy Cavalier. Thank you. Peace.